awards that actually were uh, distributed last fall. Uh, and we have our one winner and runners up here being recognized today. Uh, the goals of this project, though, were to recognize the best examples in architecture, landscape architecture, and urban design that improve a neighborhood's physical, ecological, and social context. And you see uh, some uh, pictures of them uh, in this room. Um, the goal, another goal, is to promote work, a built work that contributes to the creation of pedestrian oriented, uh, walkable neighborhoods that enrich and contribute to the greater community, and to show how physical design can really la lead to greater health, economic opportunity, and environmental sustainability. Um, to be eligible, projects can be public or private projects located within Montgomery County, must be completed and in use, and must have been built within the pa past 10 years and this is really an advertisement for the uh, 2016 Design Excellent Awards. The deadline is July 21st. July 21st. Um, and awards will be presented this fall. So we want to uh, let the, uh, our architecture and design friends throughout the region uh, who've worked in Montgomery County know that we value you and we want to uh, reflect your excellence uh, and, and encourage others to do the same. Uh, the council is very interested in uh, the appeal of the buildings that it builds in Montgomery County and the private sector is equally important in terms of defining how we look and how we feel. Whereas the Montgomery County Planning Department's Design Excellence Award uh, program started in 2015, recognizes exceptional work in architecture, landscape architecture, and urban design. And whereas an independent jury of design professionals evaluates built projects submitted by developers, property owners, and their design teams that contribute to improving the quality of physical environments throughout the county in character, identity, and economic value. And whereas um, we have a, a number of these, the Silver Spring Civic Building, designed by Machado Silvetti, won the first annual award for design excellence. Uh, and the jury described the Silver Spring Civic Building as a beautiful example of how the public sector can lead quality modern design, adding it's a great example of how to make a place. And whereas four projects received the jury citation award, including the headquarters of Rupert Nurseries, designed by Muse Architects, the Cultural Arts Center at Montgomery College, designed by the Smith Group, JJR, the town of Somerset tool, Pool Bathhouse, designed by McInturf Architects at 1155 Ripley, designed by Shalom Baranis Associates. And whereas the Celebrate Design event, hosted by the Montgomery County Planning Department and Potomac Valley Chapter of the American Institute of Architects, honored the winners and brought together a wide variety of professionals for networking and collaboration, now therefore be it resolved that the County Council of Montgomery County, Maryland, hereby honors and congratulates the first annual Design Excellence Award winners for their great work creating buildings, public spaces, and neighborhoods of the highest quality of design. Uh, presented this 12th day of July in the year 2016, which I've signed. I wanted to uh, thank the County Council <laughs> for this proclamation and for allowing us to use the council chambers to display photographs of the 2015 award winners. Um, the bottom line is that design matters and as we uh, grow and mature as a county and we're dealing more and more with infill sites where compatibility and pedestrian orientation are <coughs> very, very important, we're going to need to focus more and more on excellent design. And a great way to do that is to identify and celebrate examples of excellent design that have been built in the county and to hold those up as examples that we hope to emulate with future projects in, um, in future uh, development cases and public buildings that come forward. So, we really appreciate today's event and uh, we look forward to the 2016 award ceremonies. July 21st is the application deadline. Keep that in mind.
this amazing facility designed by uh, uh, Machado and Silvetti uh, and conceptualized by the Silver Spring activist uh, a long time ago it has provided our community a welcoming and wonderful uh, living room and patio. I, I must say the Department of General Services uh, and our uh, own community use of public facility for bringing it to life and making it a welcoming space and it's something that we're all very proud of. Thank you. I'm actually an associate at Muse Architects and on behalf of the firm I do want to thank the planning board and Nancy Florine. Uh, this is a great honor and you know, great design does come from uh, great clients and great collaboration. And uh, we're, we're lucky to have those clients. We're lucky to be part of such a wonderful project, preserving that beautiful building. And awards programs like this, I think, really, um, you know, they put a good step forward in saying what really is important in the county. So thank you, everybody. As a Montgomery County resident, I'm very happy that there's a commitment to design excellence here. And we applaud that. And we think it'll, it'll stand the test of time for many years for the county. And, and I, I'd say this couldn't happen without the participation and support of the planning department, and certainly the college, to make a new front door for the institution. And we're grateful for that opportunity. What's so special about working in the public realm is seeing the projects used by the community when it's done. I think it couldn't have been said better best by an email I received from a member of the town that stated the uh, pool house is the beating heart and center of the town, especially in the summer months. But to see the work uh, celebrated by the county is just wonderful. Thank you very much. I think this project illustrates that no matter how humble and modest the project type, this is infill housing, um, you can do something wonderful uh, with the design, uh, with the appropriate support of client. I want to thank Home Properties for supporting our design and the planning board and staff for supporting the uh, somewhat unusual massing approach we took. So thanks again. To